morning. We're in Mark chapter 13 this morning, which is by no means an easy passage to deal with. In fact, it's difficult to interpret a lot of what's going on here. And I'm quite sure that the next few minutes we'll not be able to touch uh, on every aspect. So I want us to pull back from the passage a little bit and to look at the chapter as a whole and to see that there's a common thread throughout here. There's a common thread woven into Jesus' discourse, and it's this. Stay alert. We know that when the government of Westminster changed their COVID response slogan from stay at home, stay safe, to stay alert, stay safe, there was a a bit of flack. They, They got a bit of stick for that. But Jesus here is telling us to stay alert because there were false teachers and false prophets who would come to try and lead God's elect astray. And that's been the case all through history. It was the case in Jesus' day, it's the case for us today. There will be those who try to lead us astray. So Jesus says, stay alert. Verse 5, see that no one leads you astray. Three times in this passage, verses 9, 23 and 33, he says, Be on your guard. And then this chapter closes with the words, stay awake. Stay awake, verses 33, 35 and 37. Basically, Jesus is saying that, stay awake. The very last word related to that, stay awake, is watch. Watch. And I suppose that's... uh, really what we need to take from this passage today. Be alert, be ready. No one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. He tells us this, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So be on your guard. If Jesus didn't know the day or the hour, You can be quite sure that no one else does. It's the Father only. And so this parable that Jesus teaches about a man uh, leaving his, uh, going away and leaving his house in uh, charge of the, the, leaving his servants in charge of his household, each with their assigned task. And he assigns uh, a doorkeeper to keep watch. If when the master returns, that doorkeeper is asleep, the master is not going to be happy. He's not fulfilled his duties. We are to keep alert. This passage deals with the destruction of the temple, which was to come uh, in AD 70, uh, a time of uh, huge persecution uh, for the people of Jerusalem. And uh, basically their world was crumbling before them because for the Jews, the temple was the focal point of their faith, of their culture, of their world. Jerusalem, the great city, God's holy city and the temple were destroyed by Titus, the son of Emperor Vespasian. And that must have felt like the end of the world. The destruction of the temple, of course, functions as a type for the final judgment when Jesus will return. But we cannot and must not get the two confused. Jesus, in part of this passage, is dealing with that coming destruction of the temple. And part of this passage, the lesser part of this passage, is looking at the coming judgment. For us today as Christians, we've got to be ready. We've got to be alert. So we've got to stay close to Jesus. He is the author, foundation of our faith. He is the one who provides us with hope because of the salvation that he brings. We have peace in his name. We have that deep shalom. So we must live lives that honour him that seek to glorify him. And we must be going about the work of the kingdom, building the kingdom today, pointing others to Jesus. Be ready. 
don't be caught off your guard when Jesus returns. He is the lover of your soul. Love him today. Love one another. Stay close to Jesus and stay safe. Be alert. Bye-bye.